Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Nine. I'm the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Oh, uh, TNT. Yo. Did you hear about the Vegas hack? The ransomware? The Vegas hack ransomware. No. Yeah, you know why? Because they're not talking about it. Was this like the thing where like uh, they were, had the, like the tech company come down and everybody's trying to hack stuff? Nope, it's still going on. Somebody hacked MGM. M- MGM is closed now. All of their, you can't get in your rooms, you can't gamble, you can't book rooms. It's yeah. not even just the Vegas ones, it's all across the country. We were on day like five and oh, they wow. still are not open. Oh, wow. And like, they're not talking about it anywhere. I, I- haven't heard it. On anything. I heard that the way that they infiltrated was uh, like basic like social engineering. They were just like, yeah, I'm this person, a person that works there. And (laughs) Bob sent me for the money. Yeah. Yeah. They said that they think it was like a social engineering attack, whether it was an insider or they called on the phone. Like, hey, I'm just Joe Schmo from Tech Company X. Like, I need your password for WWZ. And they're like, oh, sorry, sir. Here it is. One, two, three, four. I don't, I don't know that part exactly, but I know like they're, it's a ransom attack. They want the money. And then what happened is it Man. came out in a filing. The same thing happened to Caesars and they fucking paid. Yeah. They paid to yeah. get it instead of like whatever. So now. Because what are they asking for? It's probably a drop in the bucket. But like you, that's like negotiating with terrorists. It is negotiating with terrorists. But on the same note, how much am I losing a day? By not negotiating with oh a ton of money. This this terrorist is basically asking me for a drop in the bucket, and then business goes. I'll I'll recoup in an afternoon. Oh yeah, the amount of money they've lost is like it's been crazy. So like it's the difference between like if you like okay like look if somebody on the street holds me up at gunpoint and says give me five dollars or I'm gonna shoot you I'm gonna be like all right here right I got robbed but. They got five bucks off of me. But yeah. if they ask me for all the money in my bank account, it's a little bit different. You'd rather be dead than give them all your money? No, but I would say I would say is that I'd be more willing to fight if they asked me for what I could not afford to lose. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Whereas in the case of $5, I'm just going to be like, here, just take this five. Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I just think it's really interesting that they're not talking about it much. Um, like, I haven't heard any news stories about it, really. Like, the only way I've came across it is through, like, random, like, uh, like TikTok-type videos. Like, just random on Reddit, like a video or something. Like, not... I wonder who who owns the MGM Grand? MGM Grand? Who, who? They're a company. Well, who owns MGM? It's a corporation. No one owns it. It's publicly traded. You and I can own it if you buy a share. Go buy a share tomorrow on Monday. You'll own yeah, part of it. It is. It is, just, it is a kind of, well. So I would. I would say is that I would. I would assume is that there are some billionaires with their hands in the pots of a lot. Oh of yeah, Mister Mister M. And when it comes to billionaires, all the best billionaires own their own media companies. When you think of Bloomberg, when you think of Elon Musk, when you think of Zuckerberg, I mean, a lot of them. The have more their, you can propagate propagandize yeah. the more powerful you are exactly because you get to write your own narratives Bezos owns the washington journal exact okay so you're starting you, you get it you get it so all the great that's the business we should get into our we own should, media program we just, i agree i mean I we have agree. crazy town media yeah we just need to make it a conglomerate that's large enough to make an impact and then we become i mean we're working we got we got some subscribers hey we, we love you all too <laughs> so so I just say it's like that is why you're not hearing about it is because a lot of billionaires probably have their hands in the pot and they're like, we don't need this business getting out. We don't need anybody copycatting. We don't need people thinking that, oh, somebody got away with it in New Vegas. That's crazy because the same thing did happen in, in old Vegas where the guys just like walked away with a bunch of money by just saying is that, you know, hey, somebody sent me for the money. It was basically another social engineering attack. Happened a long, long time ago. How much social engineering do you do? Like on a daily basis? Just in life, yeah. This is a deeper question. Than, you know me. I can't. You can't give me a simple question and not expect me to dive deep into it. I mean, my, my brain like works on a different level. Left. Do whatever you want, man. I got what? We got like seven minutes. Not even. 
<laughs> Talk about it, bro. So I believe that social engineering is something that we do all the time anyway. I believe that we can't we can't not socially engineer. Okay. When you talk to your friends, you speak with them in a certain way because they're your friends. Mm-hmm. Um, and you want them to like you. And like when you verbally fillet them? Sure. I guess. All just you got a really nice haircut, Tony. They're like, oh, man, I like the way that shirt looks on you, Brad. Yeah, but do you really? Yeah, yeah, it's a nice shirt. But does it really look good? It's not necessarily of like a question of like, are you blatantly lying to them? It's more of like, are you just saying it because you are... It's misandry. Yeah. Not a mis- I know. I'm just throwing out words now. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, I was going to say. It doesn't even fit. It's like, so if I compliment what you're wearing, I would not give another person who I did not know a compliment for wearing the same outfit. Okay. Right? So it's, it's a fluff. But that fluff, in turn, makes it a little a bit of stronger social. bond. It's a social engineering. Yeah. And it does facilitate a bond. But that's that's getting deep into the whole like, is there actually altruism? And no, I I kind of feel I'm I'm in the band I'm in the camp of no, there's no such thing as altruism. We I've had this talk with with people before. You've been there for them. <laughs> on a few hey, occasions. I've I've watched you work. <laughs> but there's no such thing as altruism. Nobody does anything just to be a good person. Um, I mean, you're not wrong. So then there you go. I mean, what else can I say? Because even if like, even if you do it thinking you're a good person. You do it because it makes you feel good. That's what it comes down to. But does it? Yeah. How good does it make you feel? (laughs) That good, huh? Pretty damn good. Yeah. So, uh... But yeah, like, so, so can you elaborate for people who are like, what the hell is TNT talking about? How, how that, how like, how, how nothing is done for true self. Nobody does, nobody does anything nice because they, just because they, just because they want to. Want to? Yeah. No, nobody's Jesus. <laughs> no, I don't think anybody's Jesus. So, okay. I don't. I, I give a homeless man a cheeseburger. You do it because it makes you feel good. You do it because you want to see a smile on his face. When you do something like that, it makes you feel good. It does. When a mother takes care of their child, it makes them feel good. But it's not about making the kid feel good? But in turn, making them feel good makes you feel good. That's why we do nice things for women. Because just dopamine seeking. That's why we we contact our mother on Mother's Day. Half of you don't even like your mom. But you contact her on Mother's Day because it makes her feel good. And that makes you feel good. Or you do it because you appreciate the things that she's done. It's social engineering. I'm sorry. It is. Even on a small, small level, it always is, man. The way you talk to your coworkers, the way you talk to your boss, it's all manipulation. It's all social engineering. Yeah, somebody reached out to me out of the blue today. I was just like, hey, hope you're having a good weekend. Have a good weekend. I'm like... I ain't talked to you. Like yeah, what? Like, bitch, I don't know you. I mean, I did know them. No, okay, but but, but still. still, I was just like, huh? Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, and see, and that's the that's the thing. It's like you, usually you get something like that, and you're like, is there a catch? Like, what are you trying to do here? It's like, like, why are you, why were you thinking about me today? Yeah, <laughs> it's because you're a, you're an adult male getting a compliment of some sort. Yeah, I yeah, get yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You're, you're like. Well, <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. Like, do I just pay you now? Do I yeah, leave the money on the? I mean, <laughs> what's your Venmo? I'll give you ten bucks. Thanks. Tell yeah. me my shirt's nice. I'll give you another ten. Do I leave the money on the dresser here, or leave the money on the dresser? <laughs> I, I'm a. We got to go in a second, but I got. I heard something the other day, or I read something. I want. I just want to know your take on it. It said that if if you are are uh, interacting with someone and their words and actions don't match. That it is manipulation and it will go on as long as you allow it to. What do you think about that phrase? That that statement? It sounds pretty true to me. Because yeah. um, like I said, there's healthy forms of manipulation like being nice to your mom and being nice to your friends. And, uh, uh, you know, speaking in a certain way to your boss to, so that you can achieve financial. And then there's manipulation where you're trying to get something for yourself at the detriment of another person. And that's the unhealthy type of manipulation. And that's the words don't, and actions don't match. 
Yes, but I mean, like, like I said, it doesn't necessarily always have to be a malicious and intent. Sometimes a person can have a mental disorder. They can just have like, or a straight up a sociopath and don't know it. Yeah, and you know. All right, that I'm happens. Sure. I got you, man. I got you. Go to crazytown.com to subscribe. Obviously, you want more of this for Jonas. <laughs> TNT. Oh, we out.